So uh, this area is obviously a trap. Um, what I like to do is to grab the tonic and then drill dash to the door where I can you know, take a more fortified position where I'm not sitting in the open. Um, it's one strategy, you could just sit and fight them, but I, I run and then fight them on the stairs. It's your choice. Um, and I'll comment a little more when we get a little further in the apartments, but this is all pretty straightforward and, uh, you know, enjoy it. Slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit. Uh, here's some more pictures of the, the surface. And this area has a couple um, parts of note. Uh, one being a turret that um, you should hack. It'll help you fight a, a brute splicer. Um, that's going to be in the area, and the Brute Splicer spawns once you um, get close to the pool of water with the crying normal splicer in it. Um, the strategy initially was to hack the turret, draw out the Brute Splicer, and pull him near the turret where he would be distracted by the turret, and while taking damage from it, you would of course unload on him with the Electroshock and the dash and you know, bullets if necessary. Um, in this take, and I don't know what happened. I've rewatched the video a couple times, but I electroshocked the pool like I was going to anyway, but it kills him outright. Um, I don't know why he took the increased damage. I don't know if something exploded and I didn't see it. Um, but like I said, I've watched the video a couple times and uh, he just dies. So I got kind of lucky and I was going to film him, but it didn't count because it happened so quickly. Uh, so you can watch for yourselves, but. Um, nine times out of ten, he will charge through here, and you'll draw him back to where you came and uh, in front of the turret, where you can finish him off pretty easily. So um, that's most likely what's going to happen um, in the times you guys come through this. Uh, the rest of the video is me just making my way up to Grace. Uh, not too difficult. Um, you'll get some story time. You are given the option to, to kill Grace. Um, if you want the good ending, the proper ending, I recommend you don't. So uh, let her go, and uh, I'll pick it up next vid as we close out this level. Um, and we'll head over to Siren Alley, which um, I can already tell you I hate. I hate Siren Alley. But um, maybe we'll have some fun. Maybe I'll get some enjoyment out of it when I... I'm forced to play through it a hundred times. Um, but we'll see. And uh, I'll let you watch the rest of this video and uh, enjoy. The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I fold these paper effigies. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old. And this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding.
won't die tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature, and you. Because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Empty house. Only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Come on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. <laughs>